Hello and very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to our third lectures in the ecology lecture series. So as I have told you, this is just the basic part of the entire biosphere which we are going to study in the upcoming lectures. So let's see. We earlier we have studied some part of lithosphere and hydrosphere. Today we will complete about the atmosphere. Okay. So I have already made, or I am also making the slides of these lectures more and more interactive. Okay. Only. just to make sure that you should have enough concentration while attending the lectures okay right now or from now on whatever the earlier format of the lectures will uh, was there okay that was having just the uh, what you can say a uh, plain background with the only the theory in it okay that pattern will not be there so this newer pattern or this newer format uh, it's an upgradation to our class it will definitely help you to focus and remember uh, these things more okay and also one other thing is there many of the diagrams which you will find here will not be there in the hard copy notes okay because there are lots of uh, the copyright issues are there if i use the same diagrams in the printed material right so even if i will be using but i will be using my own simplified diagrams okay not the diagrams which are here i am using because whatever the diagrams i am using here they are having specific creative common licenses so that's why i can only use it on these kind of media where you can click on the link which was below this diagrams and you can then see the source or what who is the author of those uh, the diagrams it's okay so the, from now on also whatever the lectures are going to be added for the ecology ethology and economic ecology also the other chapters are also going to be upgraded with this newer format mostly with the next batch that is from the july okay or if possible for some of the chapters i will upgrade before it okay i will just re record the slides which i have already made okay but from now on there will be definitely at least 30 to 40% additional what we can say uh, things will be there which you will find in the video course okay it will it is more interactive okay not only that it is more informative also okay the diagram which i am using here they will help you a lot okay so attending the lectures as well as the hard copy notes uh, reading the hard copy notes both will be sufficient okay i could have not done this earlier because these things also cost me money right so i have to use the microsoft 360 business uh, the category applications on uh, uh, the subscription and all other things also right so with this now let's start okay i think i have to shift these lights somewhat in front okay because some thing is giving us a what a white shading are in here here this white patch is there okay i will have to decrease it okay. yes everything is just being set up by me only it's a one man army also okay not for long time okay in one month only as i have told you earlier we are setting up our offline institute okay so i have already leased the property but the earlier uh, occupant of that property is there he is not living it yet okay he has some other plans so he is asking for some more time so let's wait okay then we will set up our the offline institute shiva school okay so let's start with this today's part we have already seen this uh, biosphere in that we have seen the lithosphere and the part of this uh, this uh, uh, the hydrosphere in that we have seen the uh, various oceans which were there okay the seas and other rivers okay today is part the atmosphere see what the atmosphere is basically so put this is oh, i will have to first select the annotations so this is the earth okay so both this is the earth now there will be an area or the there will be an surrounding area is it okay many times it is almost more than this almost 10000 kilometers okay who are the entire gases are distributed but mostly 1600 km area is the main area of the atmospheric gases right where the most of the gases are uh this what you can say uh, located so whatever this area is there in this area 
अबोव द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ ऑल द एटमोस्फेरिक लेयर्स आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओके हमें समझना है एक एक करके ओके okay? हर एक चीज मैंने आपको डायग्राम के साथ दिखाऊंगा ओके सो यू विल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इट थरोली ओके बेसिक्स के साथ एटमोस्फेयर बेसिकली क्या है वट एवर दीज डिफरेंट गैसेज विच आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन दिस डिफरेंट लेयर दीज लेयर्स विच आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन द एटमोस्फेयर ओके इसमें से कोई ट्रोपोस्फियर है कोई स्टेटोस्फियर है कोई मिजोस्फियर है कोई थर्मोस्फियर है कोई एक्सोस्फियर है ओके सम ऑफ दीज आर दीज डिफरेंट लेयर्स राइट ऑल ऑफ दीज लेयर्स हैव डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ओके सी एज वी नो दी सैटेलाइट ओके सो सैटेलाइट फ्लोज थ्रू ओनली स्पेसिफिक ऑफ दीज लेयर्स ओके वॉट एवर दी क्लाउड्स विच वी सी दस पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ क्लाउड्स आर फॉर्म इन एनी वन ऑफ दीज there are certain specific auroras also there uh, which we found at the poles okay that is also found form in particular layer only okay what are the meteors which we see okay jo hum meteor dekhte hai na jo jal uh, we see which will coming from outside but they uh, just burn down while entering our atmosphere okay jo ye ulka se bolte hai okay jo jo ulka path hota hai right so when it burns while coming down wo jab niche aate hue jal ke aate hai na so uh, why this burning happens or where this burning happens that is also limited to a particular layer okay aur ye hame study karna hai isme short mein okay although it is a part of geography but here we will study it in short okay because see it is found at least even after 30 to 40 even at the height of 30 to 40 kilometers from the surface of earth there are signs of bacterial life 30 to 40 kilometer upar jaane ke baad bhi bacteria mile okay now imagine not see one kilometer <laughs> is a distance you can just judge one kilometer distance from your house okay such 30 to 40 kilometers up in the sky even if you go then also you will find the signs of life some uh, these microorganisms which are living in their atmosphere okay so that's why we need to study that why these uh, how these microorganisms can survive at that height okay even when we go even in onto the uh, these uh, the everest or other mountains at that time also we feel suffocate because there is a very less concentration of oxygen is there right jab hum uche uche pahadon pe jate hain tab hame saans lene mein difficulty hoti hai right because oxygen ki kami hai wahan par then how these life forms are even living 30 to 40 kilometers above this uh, this earth surface okay so there are some of the reasons behind it okay kuch reasons ye hai ki that the gases are also distributed at that place also okay and those animals or those life forms which can bear or which can survive at that concentration of atmospheric gases they will be able to observe that okay obviously we will you will not find a human settlement at 30 kilometers above the surface of the earth okay ye to nahi hoga right but those organisms which can survive they will be occurring here okay wo hame yahan par milenge right now let's see next whatever the atmosphere is there okay it is having uh, this different layers which we are going to see one by one okay it whatever is the uh, the atmosphere is there okay it is extending out almost 1600 kilometers from the surface of the earth okay next is this whatever the atmosphere is there na see you can imagine whatever this all of these gases are there na they must be experiencing a gravitational force unko bhi to gravitational force hai every particle which is there okay will feel the uh, the gravitational force okay so all of these gases when feel the gravitational force most of their molecules will gather here or will be distributed here near to the surface right so because of this the density of the gases near to the surface is very high because of it there is very high pressure is there near to the surface and as you go up in the sky as you go up in the sky the density of these gases will decrease so that's why the pressure which was there earlier near to this ground level it will be very much higher as compared to the pressure which is there at at say like uh, 10 km above the sky 40 km above the sky uh, not above the sky above the surface 200 km above the surface the pressure will decrease because the gases will become more and more rarer or less dense okay there is again wind also flows okay wind is also a part of atmosphere only right so that wind is also what the air which is moving from these different high pressure to low pressure areas now low pressure area will not always be created at this location only there are certain specific reasons where these low pressure areas could created here also 
okay so because of that then the gas will flow from high to low low to high okay so what is it has created it has created a wind movement of air okay so this is just the basic concept which we have to see okay as i have told you this is the part which we will study in the geography but some of the concept which will be required which might be required i am telling you okay now let's see this is just the composition of the atmosphere okay for comparison i have shown you this different values okay the atmosphere which is there on the mars and the venus and the atmosphere which is there in the on the earth okay you can see we are interested in this mostly in this gas for us oxygen right whatever the plants and other uh, these uh, the uh, other plants are there okay they will be interested in this carbon dioxide okay because they want the carbon dioxide in very high, uh, very much high amount right the, the plants will also be uh, the more interested in the 78% of nitrogen also because that nitrogen is also required for their uh, this uh, the, uh, the various physiological reactions which are going to occur in it okay we are also uh, just a minute we are also very much interested in the nitrogen because although we cannot fix the nitrogen but we want the nitrogen because we know the amino acid basically the basic group is what the nh2 amine group is that right so we also want this right so this is the distribution of different atmospheric gases on the earth right like the nitrogen in the highest amount then oxygen in the highest amount second most then the other gases are in smaller amount okay you can see these are the values now as these different planets are having different composition of gases so that's why we will find it very difficult to survive there even if we land on to the mars or even if we land on to the venus right but you should also think in a such a way aisa bhi sochna chahiye aapko ko agar if at all the life is existing on this planet like venus and mars okay then we should not say that as the oxygen is very least okay as oxygen is very least the life will not survive there okay see on our planet we are uh, we are very much confirm that the oxygen is very much important for us okay for all the other organisms also hame ye pata hai ki hamare jo planet hai wahan par oxygen bahut hi zyada important hai okay but that would not be the case or that may not be the case on other planets okay whatever their genetic makeup is there okay it may be supporting any one of these gases okay like carbon dioxide okay or maybe only nitrogen the life which is there on the planets may not at all required the same gases which are there on our planet okay the composition of the atmosphere will vary from planet to planet okay so the life okay which is living in that planet or living on that planet will also vary okay so that's why we will not find the same humans on the other planets like the venus and mars okay even if the life form okay see at one point of the entire future or at some time in the future we will find a intelligent life also on other planets okay that is for sure okay see one reason behind it may be suppose this is the our earth okay and suppose this is the entire universe till now which we know ab tak jitna bhi universe hame pata hai na like even after far away from our galaxies other galaxies suppose that is only this much okay the real or more intelligent species than us may be located at a, such a distance that we will not be able to even cross for lakhs of year or maybe 10 lakhs of years or maybe crores of years okay that may be located at that distance that may happen because this entire universe is endless okay it is not the case that the, it is not the case that there is somewhere this concrete wall is there or somewhere only hot wall is there or, or the fire wall is there or this water wall is there this is not the case it is an endless right but as we see there are newer techniques are generated so okay at one point in the uh, what we can say the uh, upcoming future of human history we may also be able to fly than the speed which we are right now flying okay of or in the future if we could at all uh, what you can say fly or uh, this uh, ride at the speed of light also then also it will create more and more uh, the chances of reaching very far distances from here okay so that is the what is the one of the 
basic hindrance is there na that we are limited to a particular speed only okay if we are somehow able to cross that speed then all of these future past time travel these things may come true right so at some point of the human uh, what you can say the future timelines sometime at least we will come across some other intelligent or other life forms on other planets okay and there are very less chances that we will find other humans only okay we may find some other uh, these well developed insects also okay koi cockroach hoga jo humse bhi intellect hoga right there may be some what we can say the dinosaurs may be there on some other planet life which may be more what we can say intelligent than us okay there may be entirely different organism which we can not even described okay ऐसे ऑर्गेनिजम्स भी इंटेलिजेंट हमारे हमारे से हो सकते हैं ओके okay, जो कि हमने कभी डिफाइन ही नहीं करे ओके इट सी व्हाट वी सी व्हाट एवर द लाइफ वी डिस्क्राइब राइट नाउ इज लाइक इट शुड हैव हेड इट शुड हैव आईज इट शुड हैव माउथ इट शुड हैव नोज ओके द लाइफ फॉर्म्स और मे बी द मोर डेवलप्ड लाइफ फॉर्म्स दैन अस मे बी मे नॉट हैव ऑट एनी ऑफ दीज ओके दे मे हैव सम ओनली अ काइंड ऑफ अ हेड maybe without eyes maybe without ears okay so they may be working based on their senses only may based on their radars which are there in their head okay that may be the most intelligent life form which may come across in the future okay anything could happen right but what i am telling you this because see the earth or whatever the composition of the atmosphere on our planet is unique so that's why other planets having different atmospheric condition uh, this composition will have entirely almost entirely different life forms okay it will not be it will not be the case that on mars you will find developed insects okay there may not be at all any kind of such insects kind of things will be there okay right now we just divide this human uh, this life na insects birds uh, the, what you can say the humans or the the fishes okay there may be entirely different life forms or maybe that life form is only in the form of energy okay if energy ke form mein hi wo life form ho sakti hai okay they can take any shape all of these things are possible okay but we are not interested in that but because that is the kind of uh, the lecture which we should conduct in a gs preparation okay till now that's it okay i just wanted to let you know that these are different composition the composition will vary the atmospheric composition varies the life com uh, this which is present in that Uh, on that planet will vary okay so this is the composition of our earth right so these are the actual layers of our atmosphere okay the first one is the troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere okay there is again uh, exosphere is also there okay so the first layer which we are going to study is the troposphere okay you are going to get this what you can say uh, the pdf of this entire lecture so you will be able to read what is there also okay right now you may not able to read it okay because of this right reflection uh, reflection okay but these are these are some of the limitations okay because we pura what you can say state of the art studio to nahi bana sakta main okay whatever i had a five lakhs of amount so i have invested in this and this is what you have okay whatever these reflection problems are there okay it is very difficult to avoid all of this you will have that set of the art uh, the what you can say the studio setup but don't worry in next 5 6 mahine ya fir ek saal mein to wo bhi aa jayega okay as the see, as the our this result will start to get okay because i know still now we have prepared almost 80 90% of notes okay once these notes are ready then some of you will only refer those notes and some of someone out of you will only will give me that numbers which will be like top 100 in the upsc or top 10 in the upsc okay see i always have thought and i have always know that whenever students okay who will qualify and get selected for the mains okay in and if he is referring or he or she is referring my notes na he will be or he or she will be mostly in the top 100 or top 10 only okay agar koi select ho hi gaya okay mains ke liye okay jo ki ek do saal mein hone hi wala hai theek hai because we have, i have already given you these concise notes so right now all the जो नोट्स बनाने का टाइम था ओके वट एवर द टाइम विच वॉज रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक ऑल ऑफ दिस नोट्स इट हैज नाउ डिक्रीज ओके सो नाउ वी कैन यूज दिस एडिशनल टाइम फॉर योर जीएस प्रिपरेशन एंड फिल्म प्रिपरेशन ओके सो वेन एवर वी विल गेट आवर फर्स्ट ऑफिशियल ऑथेंटिकेटेड 
result from our shiva school now it will be like in top 10 or top 100 only okay obviously i cannot say that guarantee because that will be a miss uh, 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 improper way of uh, publicizing our uh, the class but i will say that is my belief and i think the notes are that worth that if you go through them and read it that will not only save your time okay but it will also help you to fetch more marks in the zoology okay for 30 40% to benefit aapka ye hai okay 30 to 40% benefit is this that you just need to give reading for 140 pages of cell biology chapter okay and that's it that may require suppose 5 days for you to complete okay earlier that was not the case okay earlier whatever the points which were there in the upsc syllabus you will require at least one or two days to search for on those chapters to search for references or material for those points which are there in the upsc syllabus for every chapter okay in every chapter there are at least 30 to 40 points are there ओके सो हर एक के लिए आपको एक या दो दिन जाते थे सर्च करने के लिए एंड टू कलेक्ट द मटेरियल एट वन प्लेस ओके नाउ दैट इज नॉट द केस इन ओनली फोर टू फाइव डेज यू कैन फिनिश द एंटायर सेल बायोलॉजी ओके एंड इवन इफ यू हैव इफ यू हैव सीन दिस ईयर्स पेपर यू कैन सी दैट यू कूड इजीली आंसर द क्वेश्चन विच आर देयर इन दिस ईयर्स पेपर फ्रॉम द नोट्स ओनली ओके ओनली थर्टी पेजेस ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन नोट्स ओनली फोर्टी पेजेस ऑफ बायोस्टिक नोट्स यू कैन स्टिल यू द स्टूडेंट्स वेर स्टिल एबल टू आंसर फ्रॉम दिस ईयर्स question paper also from those only 30 pages and 40 pages of notes only okay i have not given you 100 pages of notes for bio uh, biostatistics okay i have given you one combined booklet of biostatistics instrumentation and systematics of 100 pages i think 110 pages only okay but still the, this time students were able to answer all of the questions from that 110 pages only okay so imagine the time which you have saved ओके इमेजिन दी वट यू कैन से दी एक्यूरेसी इट वुड बी ओके अगर आप सिर्फ इफ यू आर ओनली रेफरिंग थर्टी पेजेस ओके फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर देन यू कैन रिवाइज इट मल्टीपल टाइम्स ओके एंड इफ दिस क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग फ्रॉम दो थर्टी पेजेस ओनली एंड इफ द क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग फ्रॉम दो फोर्टी पेजेस ओनली देन ऑब्वियसली इट विल इम्प्रूव योर स्कोर ओके सो दैट्स वाई ये मेरा बिलीफ है कि अगले एक दो साल में हमारा जो रिजल्ट है वो आएगा और उसके बाद फिर हमारा जो ग्राफ होगा क्लासेस का वो ऐसा बढ़ेगा अ पीक so let's see let's come back till then okay whoever students are believing in me okay thank you for your support okay kuch log to 2020 se mere sath hai theek hai even if i have all these delays in giving materials and courses still they are believing in me so i am i am very much thankful to them and i'm so sorry for them for you for those who are experiencing any kind of delays in this lecture okay I, as i have already told you first class ke sath se hi main ye batata tha student ko i was telling from the first batch only that until we complete this entire notes okay please don't pressurize me with the time limits okay because every point in this syllabus is important okay and if i suppose that two days are required for that particular time okay or three days are required for that particular point then i am going to give that three days to it okay i am not just going to run to complete the course okay बिकॉज आई नो दिस इज जस्ट ली वन टाइम टास्क ओनली ओके सिर्फ ये एक एक बार का ही टास्क है वंस वी हैव मेड दीज फाइनल नोट्स ना ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट ऑल पॉइंट इन देर ऑन दिस इज नॉट द नोट ऑन ओनली दिस लेबस पॉइंट वी हैव आई हैव गिवन यू द नोट्स इवन ऑन द पॉइंट विच आर देर इन द प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो राइट सो दिस इज लाइक द प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन कंपाइलेशन आंसर कंपाइलेशन ऑफ लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ नॉट ओनली ऑफ सी एस सी सिर्फ मैंने सी एस सिविल सर्विस एग्जाम के पेपर नहीं लिए i have also taken the questions from the indian forest service papers also last 25 years ke okay so that's why all these entire course length is this much huge okay obviously if i, I, I would have already uh, completed the notes then it would have take very less, uh, less time okay that is the 4 to 5 months only and the next batch which is going to start in july 2023 it will be completed into 4 to 5 months only okay because at that time i will not be having all of these tasks okay right now right now i need to prepare the notes type the notes draw the diagram shift them into the powerpoint then take the lecture record the lecture process it 5gb lecture is there because of this video interface then decrease it to the 4, 500 into 4, 400 mb then again edit it all these tasks are there okay uske baad to nahi hoga okay iske baad ek bar ye hamara course master notes complete ho gaya master course complete ho gaya then we will have very less time okay for all the things right in that we will complete our course in 4 to 5 months only okay now let's see the first 
द लेयर दैट इज द ट्रोपोस्फियर ओके इसके फीचर्स क्या है दिस इज द लोवेस्ट लेयर नियर टू द अर्थ ओके वट एवर दी वॉटर वेपर्स आर देयर ना दीज आर प्रेजेंट इन दिस लेयर ओनली ओके एंड ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ऑल द एटमोस्फियर राइट नेक्स्ट इज द प्रेशर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओके दिस स्लाइड इज टू लेट यू नो दैट हाउ द प्रेशर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज देर अक्रॉस दिस ट्रोपोस्फियर ओके सी एज यू कैन सी हियर वट एवर दी गैसेस पार्टिकल्स आर देर दे आर इन वेरी हाई डेंसिटी हियर ओके बिकॉज ग्रेविटी विल एक्ट ऑन मोस्ट ऑफ दम राइट तो मोस्ट ऑफ दीज गैसेस आर गोइंग टू बी सेटल्ड एट दिस बॉटम ओनली नियर टू दी सर्फेस ओके बट एज यू कैन सी एज यू गो अप दो आर वेरी लेस डेंस दे आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अबोव एट अ पर्टिकुलर वेरी हाई पर्टिकुलर वेरी पर्टिकुलर हाइट राइट so here the density of air molecules is very high here the density is very less so the pressure of these gases here he is like 1 mb here and almost 900 to 1000 mb near to the bottom right so this is why it is because of the density of the air or the density which is because of the air molecules which are there okay so that's why this difference of these uh, the pressures is there लोअर लेयर जो है एटमोस्फेयर का और द ट्रोपोस्फियर वट एवर दोअर लोअर लेयर ऑफ ट्रोपोस्फियर इज देर हियर हाई प्रेशर इज देर बिकॉज ऑफ द हाई डेंसिटी ऑफ दीज एयर मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड वट एवर द अपर लेयर इज देर इट इज हैविंग वेरी लेस डेंसिटी सो लेस प्रेशर ऑफ द एयर ओके दिस इज जस्ट फॉर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑब्वियसली इन दिस वट यू कैन से जुआलॉजी विल नॉट हैव टू राइट in this detail okay because this is a part of a geography kind of thing okay but still we can entirely we cannot entirely leave this thing okay hame kuch to study karna padega okay i cannot say that study this entirely from geography classes okay i will not teach you what this atmosphere stratosphere is okay for as we are studying biosphere or the ecology these three it lithosphere hydrosphere and this atmosphere are a kind of what base on which entire ecosphere will be there on which entire ecology will be there na? so that's why i am teaching you in this kind of detail right another thing is whatever the wind turbulence is there okay whatever the airs which we see or whatever the winds if you have seen the diagram uh, in this uh, atlas books okay then you will have find that there are various winds are there okay so that winds are going to be created with the various other reasons okay but here we are going to see that there are more uh, more uh, what you can say uh, this uh, more importantly two more important reasons are there out of all of others okay वन इज द रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ ओके जो अर्थ का जो रोटेशन है दैट ऑल्सो अफेक्ट दिस विंड ओके नॉट ओनली दैट देर आर अगेन थर्मल्स आर ऑल्सो देयर दिस थर्मल्स आर ऑल्सो क्रिएट अ काइंड ऑफ विंड टर्बुलेंस ओके वट आर दिस थर्मल्स इन शॉर्ट सी दिस एरिया ऑफ दिस एरिया ऑफ पर्टिकुलर एटमोस्फियर ओके इन विच गैसेस आर देयर विच इज नियर टू दिस लैंड ओके when this land gets heated this layer or uh, these gases also get heated so when they get heated they become lighter and they what went up in the sky so when they ge- go up in the sky this empty space will again going to be filled by the gases which are present into the surrounding area right from all the direction so now this has created a kind of what a cycle or a kind of a turbulence okay now this is going to occur at a very large scale okay this is not only the single thermal okay obviously it may happen at a very long scale it may happen at a very long scale throughout the earth surface so all of this wind turbulence will get created okay iski wajah se winds flow hoti hai okay one of the reason right so the this is the reason behind the wind turbulence which is getting created okay remember we have also said that the pressure is going to what decrease as we go up in the sky not only that even the temperature is also going to decrease as we go up in the sky from the surface of the earth to the the upper boundary of this troposphere ye jo troposphere ka upper boundary hai na ye which is called as tropopause as you go up from this earth surface to the tropopause the temperature will also decrease temperature bhi decrease hota hai okay and that decrease is because uh, is how much almost 6.5 degrees celsius per every kilometer okay you may ask sir why the temperature is going to decrease okay i will generally say that that is the part of geography so you should study in the geography only okay but still just to give you the 
what we can say uh, the explanation in one or two line see whenever the gases which are here okay when they are going to rise as we see the uh, the density is less so what is happening here the gases are expanding here okay so as they are expanding they are undergoing cooling okay jaise gases expand ho rahe they are expanding means what pressure is decreasing so as the pressure is decreasing they are undergoing the cooling in that area so that's why as we go up from the surface of the earth to the tropopause we are experiencing that the temperature is decreasing okay then the tropopause as we see it is the topmost border of the tropopause uh, the troposphere okay the dimensions means what you can say poles may almost 7 to 10 km hai troposphere and at the equator it is almost 7 to 17 to 18 km you can say you can take an average value of 10 or 12 km also okay the, you will find different values at different sources you can use any one of them okay this is not the fix because uh, this is a average value you get there but if you want to give the specific values so that 7 to 10 km at the poles and 17 to 18 km at equator right then the next layer is the stratosphere okay so this was the troposphere okay you can see it is almost at 10 to 12 km okay after that there is a next layer is there that is called as stratosphere okay so dimensions kitna hai how it is distributed is it is from here 12 it is al almost up to what 50 km okay 12 se almost 50 km tak ye this distributed hai okay and this is the area only okay so this is the area what which is having this ozone layer into it we are very much interested and concern in this particular region that is the ozone okay because as we know ozone kya karta hai whatever the uv light is there na which is coming from the sun okay it's going to filter it okay now whatever all of the diagram which you are seeing i have used it a what see those who want to take their own lectures and use these diagrams in their proper presentation okay because usually this will not be told by other but i don't want to take uh, keep it secret okay even if you also want to take this kind of lectures you just need to subscribe for the microsoft business uh, this subscription then you can use these diagrams from the insert tab okay and then in that also you will have to look for the different softwares which are uh, different licenses which are given here you can use only cc okay and whenever there is nc is given don't use this diagram don't use this image in the first lecture we have some some of these nc okay nc is start for non commercial use okay even though we are giving it in on youtube for free okay don't use this for non any of these non commercial images for free lectures you can use but as some of these lectures are also going to specifically for paid by students so that's why i cannot use this nc that is the non commercial i should use this cc commercial license okay which is, which can be used in the commercial way also right you can use it in the insert tab of your uh the powerpoint application okay because this has helped me a lot okay one of my teacher only okay i would say a colleague okay that which is uh, i have met few days back in parbani that is the chavan sir he has given me this idea okay not entire idea he was just giving a, he had just given me idea to insert some of the 3d structures through the insert tab okay which was not actually there in my pc okay because i was using microsoft office home and student then i have searched something a lot then i have came to know about this okay then i have upgraded it and right now the lectures interaction is quite more useful okay although it is increasing my time of the lectures but still this is getting more and more informative so that's why we are going to conduct the lectures in this format okay so whatever the uv lights are there uva uvb uvc out of this whatever the uvc lights are there they are completely blocked by the use ozone layer okay if it is fully functional almost 50% almost less than what you can say almost more than 60 to 70% of uvb lights are blocked by the ozone okay and almost 30 to 40% lights of these uv are blocked by this ozone okay so you can see very this much of the uv radiations were there earlier but right now it was only this much uv radiations are there so this is what we want okay this is what protects us from the 
cancer okay not only us even the life which is there na plants and other life okay this is also going to protect the other plants life or other biotic life from the harmful effect of this much of uv radiations this ozone layer okay so this ozone layer is located in this stratosphere okay here also you can see whatever these planes are there they fly near to this tropospheric boundary also okay even in this all the other clouds are there okay the planes are there they will you will find in this tropospheric region only okay that was the point from the last on uh, this slide right but in the stratosphere this was the important point right temperature in the stratosphere see in the troposphere what we see as we go up the temperature was decreasing but here as we go up the temperature will what increase opposite to that okay yahan par temperature decrease nahi hoga as we are going up from the troposphere layer level temperature kya hoga increase hoga okay because more and more radiations are going to be absorbed by this stratosphere okay significance we have already seen that it is going to absorb the uv light so will protect the biotic life on the earth surface from the harmful effect of the uv radiations okay the one important term which we will have to study here is the antarctic ozone hole right see as in back in 1980s or what you can say after the 70s or 80s uh, we have used the many of these chlorofluorocarbons cfc right we have uh, back there we have used them in the washing machines paints the air conditioners and all of the coolers and all of the machinery right so because of that what has happened actually those chlorofluorocarbons have reported to create free radicals in this ozone zone okay now those free radicals in the ozone zones were destroying the other particles of the ozone gas o3 ko destroy kar rahe the wo free radicals okay so that's why this much of big hole was formed over the antarctic okay this is the area where there was no ozone was left okay so then the scientists came to know that the one of the reason was this chlorofluorocarbon then we have decreased the use of this chlorofluorocarbons we have also implemented other techniques for conservation of our uh, this earth okay so that was more greener approaches were there okay for all the other techniques for all the industrialization all other things so these things resulted in the what we can say recently it was observed that these things have resulted in somewhat decreasing trend in the entire ozone hole which was formed over the antarctic abhi aisa reported kiya hai ki ye jo antarctic ozone jo hole jo hai wo kam ho raha hai okay positive because of our positive actions okay after this stratosphere the next layer is the mesosphere okay located between the thermosphere and the layer we have which we have just seen that is the stratosphere okay iske features kya hai that it is having various contents like the gases also and see whatever the meteorites which we see na meteors which we see na they go come and get burnt in this region only okay yahi par meteorites kya honge burn honge so this is one of the in this area only mesosphere only right so when these meteors are getting burnt in this area they will also left behind the gases or the metals which are there iske andar ka jo gases aur metals hai wo bhi yahi rahenge right so isi ke wajah se yahan par kya hoga what you will find you will find the calcium magnesium ferrous potassium these kind of minerals or this kind of not minerals this kind of metals in this area that is the mesosphere or we a characteristic which is specific to the mesosphere is what in this region only there are only uh, occurrence of a very particular characteristic of gas, uh, the clouds is there which are this nocti lucent clouds are there okay these are going to be observed in this mesosphere okay mostly it will found at the near this north and south poles okay but this is going to be formed in this mesosphere okay mesopause is again the this boundary of this mesosphere the upper boundary of the mesosphere okay so as we have seen the meteors are going to be burned in this area right and whatever the gases are there because of that gas as it is having high amount of or as we is it has very uh, this uh, various gases in this mesosphere so that's why it can burn this meteor okay earlier the meteor was not able to burn in this year because the air density was very less air was very rarer so there was nothing to burn these meteors in these regions but here there are very high density of gases is there so that's why the uh, these meteors will find it very difficult to penetrate through them so whenever they will try to penetrate 
through this mesosphere it will burn up okay because for burning it will require gases okay so this is the next layer that is the mesosphere okay if we see the trend in the temperature okay here what will be the case as we go up temperature will decrease here what was the case in the stratosphere as we go up temperature was increasing here what was the case in the troposphere as we go up the temperature was decreasing okay. here again the whatever this trend is there it is increasing next layer that is what thermosphere thermosphere mein kya hoga as we are going up in this what you can say the sky the as we go up the temperature will increase okay so these trends you will have to remember okay aapko ye trends yaad rakhne padenge okay this diagram is very much useful for them okay i am going to share the pdf with you on the application so there it, you will find it very easier to print this okay so this is the next layer okay then that is the thermosphere in this thermosphere only then whatever the international space station is there na it is located here thermosphere mein hi international space station located hai another characteristic of this thermosphere region is there the temperature here can go up to the 4500 degree fahrenheit yahan ka jo temperature hai na wo 4500 degree fahrenheit tak ja sakta hai tab aap bolenge you may ask sir if the temperature could go up to 4500 degrees celsius then how come this international space station is there or not only iss other earth orbiting satellites are also going to be formed here only found here only okay then you will say sir how this iss and other earth orbiting satellites must burn down or melt down in this kind of temperature okay see this is not to go not going to occur the reason is to achieve this kind of temperature okay i have so no it can go to that temperature it will require something to burn okay obviously agar koi suppose we i have a can of petrol with me but if it if it is not lighten up okay obviously it will not burn right some kind of this kind of these things are only here okay the temperature of that particular area can go up to that particular degree say fahrenheit but there is nothing to burn wahan par koi fuel hi nahi hai koi gases hi nahi hai there are no gases are there okay it will be wrong to call that there are no gases but the gases are there but they are in very rarer form or very lightly dense okay entirely wrong lightly dense to nahi hoga theek hai whatever the density is there it is very low air ki jo density wo itni low hai that it cannot burn anything okay burning hone ke liye see as we know if you have done that uh, this uh, a childhood experiment okay that whenever you put a glass on the candle uh, after uh, this few seconds it will go off okay the reason is there is no oxygen to burn okay same case is the here okay why this is not getting burnt up or melt down this iss and earth orbiting satellites because whatever the fuel which will be required or whatever these gases okay like oxygen and other gases which will be required to burn it down they are not present in there in the sufficient amount hai but in very less density okay very scarce hai atmosphere here yahan ka okay so that's why it is not getting burnt up okay so this is the next layer that is the thermosphere okay so thermosphere we have already seen the points related with it okay temperature dimension kya hai almost from 80 km to 700 km okay ye wala thermosphere it iss ko bhi this uh, the house karta hai or the other earth satellites ko bhi house karta hai okay so this is how you should remember this iss is in where thermo sphere this could be point in your prelims also okay ye jo pure slide se iske prelims ka koi na koi question to ban hi sakta hai okay then the next layer or the last but one layer okay many times which is also taught along with the thermosphere exosphere mesosphere also that is what ionosphere the reason is see ionosphere jo layer hai na this is distributed like this okay it is going to overlap with different layers okay like what okay mesosphere also thermosphere also and exosphere also okay so part of it is also there in the mesosphere also right here yaha mesosphere mein bhi thoda hai thermosphere mein bhi thoda hai aur exosphere mein bhi thoda hai so this is how this ionosphere is 
डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इट इज एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एज एन लाइन्स ओके ऐसे कुछ लेयर्स होंगे इसके ठीक है एट दिस डिफरेंट लोकेशन इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी लाइक लाइक कंटिन्यूस कॉलम है ऐसा है नहीं बट इट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन दिस एरिया ओके एनी वेयर ओके आई थिंक देर आर यूजली थ्री लेयर्स ऑफ दिस आइनोस्फियर्स आर सेट ओके बट दैट इज नॉट वी आर वेरी मच कंसर्न ओके थोड़ा बहुत ही स्टडी कर रहे हैं इसका राइट बट आयोनोस्फियर का सिग्निफिकेंस हमें स्टडी करना वी विल हैव टू स्टडी द आयोनोस्फियर सिग्निफिकेंस ओके सी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंस पार्ट फॉर आयोनोस्फियर इज वट दैट इट इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग दिस लो फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड मीडियम रेंज फ्रीक्वेंसी रेडियो वेल ओके हाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्प सी वेन एवर सपोज दिस इज द एरिया ऑफ द साउथ अमेरिका एंड सपोज दिस इज इंडिया ओके वी वॉन्ट टू make a conversation from south america to india okay we cannot directly send signal from here to here okay aise to signal nahi send kar sakte hum from this location to this location okay then what could happen is that this is the ionosphere right we can send a medium range frequency wave here okay what is the characteristic of the ionosphere is there in this ionosphere there are various layers are there which will reflect दिस रेडिएशन ओके यहाँ पर जो आय क्रिएट होंगे वट एवर दी आय विच आर गोइंग टू बी क्रिएटेड बिकॉज ऑफ द सोलर लाइट ओके और बिकॉज ऑफ द सोलर रेडिएशन क्या करते हैं हाउ दी आयोनोस्पियर में हाउ दी आय आर गोइंग टू बी क्रिएटेड इन द आयोनोस्पियर सी वेन एवर दी सोलर रेडिएशन विल कम इट विल फॉल ऑन टू अ पर्टिकुलर पार्टिकल वेन दी सोलर रेडिएशन विल बम्ब ऑन टू अ पर्टिकुलर मॉलिक्यूल इट विल फोर्स दिस मॉलिक्यूल और फोर्स दिस पार्टिकल टू इमिट इलेक्ट्रॉन ओके when once the electron is emitted this become positively charged okay now this is not going to be happen with the only one particle that such trillions or trillions or trillions of particles will be there which will release electrons and which will form these kind of ions okay so when there will be a very large collection of such ions will be there at that time we will say that this is the ionosphere that means what ions will be there in that particular layer okay now that ion because of that they are having particular charge on to them what happens whenever they are uh, what you can say bombarded with a particular low range or mid range or low frequency uh, radio waves they will reflect some of them okay so they can when once we have uh, sent this radio uh, waves from here they will reflect from this ionosphere and they will come back like this they will come back to the location of our interest for example india so this is how the radio communications can happen बट इफ यू यूज वेरी हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी रेडिएशन अगर आपने बहुत ही हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी के वेव यूज किए ओके देन दिस आयोनोस्पियर इज नॉट एबल टू रिफ्लेक्ट दैम देन वॉट विल हैपन दीज हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी वेव विल डिरेक्टली गो पास थ्रू दिस आयोनोस्पियर ओके सी वट एवर दी सेटेलाइट विच वी हैव सेंड आउट ऑफ आर अर्थ orbit na like to the mars or all other uh, all other things okay there we can communicate communicate with the only high frequency radiations now because if we send low frequency radiation for the uh, low frequency waves for the communication they will just come and reflect and come back to our earth only okay we will send very high frequency waves so then these what you can say the satellites which we have sent to the other missions will receive certain signal okay so this is what our More main interest is there in the ionosphere, right? So this is going to be overlap with the other layer. Okay, this is also called as active and changing layer. This co active or changing layer be kaha jata hai because of this ionization. Okay, kabi ye bharta hai, kabi kam hota hai. Okay, whenever the solar radiations will increase in number, it will grow. So that's why it is said that it grows and shrink depending on the energy it absorbs from the solar radiation. Okay. सोलर फ्लेयर इफ यू हैव हर्ड अबाउट द सोलर फ्लेयर अगर सोलर फ्लेयर के बारे में सोचा है आपने तो आपको पता होगा कि अगर सोलर फ्लेयर आ गई देन वॉट विल हैपन मोर सोलर रेडिएशन विल कम एट दैट टाइम दिस विल ग्रो एनोस्पेयर विल ग्रो मोर एंड मोर मॉलिक्यूल विल इमेट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मोर एंड मोर मॉलिक्यूल्स इन दिस लेयर विल बिकम वट चार्ज एंड वेन देर आर वेर लेस रेडिएशन आर देर लेस नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स विल इमिट द इलेक्ट्रॉन लेस नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स विल बिकम आयनाइज सो द अमाउंट ऑफ आयनोस्पेयर विल डिक्रीज so that is called as what it shrinks so it grows and shrink okay so this is how we have already i have already told you that it is going to form the ions okay one of the particular characteristic of this ionosphere is again the formation of the auroras okay this you may have observed on to the google images or in the movie okay so whatever these colored lights are there in the in most of the time in the night time okay these are the auroras 
okay so these are formed by the beautiful bands of light okay because of they are formed because of the very whatever the energy intense particles are there na okay from the sun they are going to interact with the whatever the atoms or whatever the uh, these uh, metal ions which are there in this particular ionosphere then they are going to create certain uh, this light effect okay that light effect is called this aurora this is observed here ionosphere ye kahan par hota hai iono sphere okay auroras why i have written auroras i have ionosphere written here because even if the mcq questions comes to in your prelims that where the auroras are going to occur in which layer of the atmosphere you should be specifically remember that i have drawn uh, i have written the name of the ionosphere okay you can also consider it is as a part of thermosphere also right because as we have see it is going to be overlap with the other layers na mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere so that's why it will be can also be considered in the other layers also right but specifically it is because of the ionospheric uh, the characteristic okay one of the significance as we have seen is this only that it is going to reflect and absorb absorb and reflect some of the radio waves so that is going to help us for the radio communication okay at a longer distances this is just the diagram i have given you just to for revision okay we can see the what is happening here here the wavelength is higher frequency uh, the uh, wavelength is here Le lower okay so here the frequency is low here the frequency is high as we know frequency is inversely proportional to the wavelength so wherever you will find that there is high number of frequency is there at that time what will the case lambda wavelength will be the lower where will you find the lambda or this is the wavelength is higher at that time you will find that this frequency is what lower okay so for mcq kind of thing this uh, this is the revisions are there okay you can also remember this having highest frequency is the gamma waves then it is x ray because see this is the question of prelims actually many times it is asked okay so you should remember this okay in such way gamma x uv infra micro and radio at this is not the gs class so i am not going to take it for more time okay so this is just the overall uh, these values of these different layer troposphere 0 to 12 the stratosphere 12 to 50 mesosphere to up to 80 then it is up to 700 km uh, uh, km after that whatever the layer is there it is called as what exosphere okay so exosphere is the outermost layer hai, right so this is going to separate the earth's atmosphere from the rest of the uh, the what you can say the outer space okay and it is almost of 10000 km okay here from 700 km ke baad it is almost up to 10000 km is there okay so this is the slide which was should not be there okay and the last part is the significance okay significance kya hai okay of this atmosphere we are mostly interested in this carbon dioxide oxygen and nitrogen for various function oxygen oxygen we re require for breathing carbon dioxide we require for the plants to make their own food so that we can eat them okay we also require this carbon dioxide so that the herbivorous animals can eat this plants then the carnivores will come and eat those herbivores okay some of these carnivores or herbivores are also being eaten by us also okay so that is these are the non vegetarians people okay but some of the dairy uh, plants will also be eaten by uh, the humans so these are the vegetarians okay so even if you are vegetarian or non vegetarian we are interested in the carbon dioxide okay we cannot say that as we require only oxygen for breathing we are not that much concerned about the carbon dioxide okay hame plants ko to zinda rakhna padega aur unko khane wale animals ko bhi to bhi zinda rakhna padega so that's why the carbon dioxide also important last is what nitrogen okay as we know even the very uh, the important structure of our own body is basically an amine ओके बिकॉज अमाइन से ही अमाइनो एसिड बनता है अमाइनो एसिड से ही प्रोटीन बनता है प्रोटीन से ही पूरा एंजाइम बनता है हार्मोन्स बनता है बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर्स बनता है राइट तो मुझे तो लगता है हमारे बेस में जो है यहाँ पर एस की जगह एन होना चाहिए ओके बिकॉज एट दैट लेवल दिस अमीनो और अमाइन और नाइट्रोजन इज इम्पोर्टेंट राइट सो नाइट्रोजन इज अगेन एन इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट सो दीज आर दिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस एटमोस्फेयर सो बिकॉज वी गेट ऑल ऑफ दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूट नॉट ओनली दिस देर आर ऑल्सो अदर्स ओके वट एवर दी अदर्स आर देर सो that is the significance of atmosphere is there to us right so this is the point of the uh, this lecture on the last point we will meet for the next lecture okay till then if you have any query you can put these queries in the comment box 
or you can ask this comment in the uh, this queries on to the uh, the upsc channel which we have or even in the youtube till then have a great day bye bye